These are pretty tough times and they're really unprecedented. I mean, we live in a Western world and we have never been in circumstances where we can't go out of the door. Um, so yes, these are difficult times. And especially in these times, it's so vital important to manage your own mindset, to manage what is between your ears. Because if you don't manage to manage your mindset, um, you'll be in trouble. The reason for this is if you're an entrepreneur, and you probably are if, when you're watching this, if you are an entrepreneur, you need your creativity and you need your power to create things in order to survive this or maybe even to thrive during these times. And if your mindset is just a mindset of fear and doubt and just uncertainty, then you are not going to be creative and innovative. So you need to manage your mindset in order to, to get through this in a whole or even better than how you came in. So um, I'm going to give you three tips to manage your mindset. And I recommend you to actually see this as a daily action. This is not just a video to listen to and then not and be like, yeah, yeah, I get it. But you should actually do this. So <clears throat> the first one is be realistic. And uh, being realistic means that you do acknowledge that serious stuff is happening. Um, but it doesn't mean that you should go all the way and checking the news feed every five seconds to see how many people were put in the hospital or even died or that's that's going overboard in news feeds. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't watch the news. But honestly, I just watch the kids news every night with my two boys. And uh, I sometimes do, like today we had a press conference. So of course I did take a look at what came out of the press conference and I'll probably re-listen to the press conference, but I'm not feeding everything from the whole world into my living room and my mind. So yes, I'm realistic and yes, I watch the news, but I don't go overboard because it would just fear me. And honestly, fear is not a very productive mindset for no one, not for my business, not for my husband, not for my kids. So be realistic, but don't go overboard. Second is um, fantasize or envision in the right direction. So what's happening in your mind is you are creating a future that isn't here yet. So you are creating stuff and you don't know if it's happening. So the things you could be creating is that this is bad for your business or that this will take longer than three weeks or longer than two months or three months. You might envision that this might take a year or you might envision that we will never recover and just feel in yourself what it does with you if this is what you are envisioning. So, um, and you don't know what's going to happen. So we are trying to be a future seer and I don't think that we are. So my advice is as a second a mindset tip is envision or fantasize in the right direction, in a positive direction. Because as long as you don't have a clue what's going to happen, you might as well fantasize in the right direction. Meaning, envision that you are creating new income streams, that you are helping clients better than you ever did before. Envision that you are getting better and stronger out of this than that you came in. So honestly, we don't know if that's going to happen either, but you probably feel that it's much stronger on your emotions. You get much happier trying to imagine that you will get out of this stronger than you came in. So help yourself fantasize in the right direction because it will boost your mindset, it will boost your emotions, and with better emotions, you'll get way more creative and innovative to help your business do just that and 
actually create this positive envision you put out. And then the third tip I have for you is ask yourself the question time again and time again, what is possible? Because everything around us is around what's not possible. We cannot go outside too much. We cannot go to the movies or to the theaters. We cannot even meet up with friends. We, I cannot be on stage giving keynotes. I cannot train my, um, my clients in person. And we are just hearing day in, day out what we cannot do. And train yourself to ask yourself the question, but what can I do? What is possible? And just by changing the question, you will get different answers. And this is what Tony Robbins taught me. Ask better questions and you will get better answers. So ask yourself every day, every minute, what is possible? And you will notice that new answers will be coming in. So those are my three mindset tips. One, be realistic. Two, fantasize or envision in the right direction. And three, ask yourself what is possible. And I truly, from the bottom of my heart, wish that you come out strong and healthy. You as well as your family and your company and everyone you love. My name is Femke Hogema and I'm the author of The Profit Advisor, The New World of Bookkeepers and Accountants.